guys. So I have a workout video for those of you who have been asking me to do easier routines. Now I was kind of up in the air about this because a lot of the exercises, they do look intimidating, but there are modifications for them. And if you have no injuries, I really, really encourage you to give them a try. No one says you have to complete the whole entire set. No one says you have to go all the way down to the ground when you do a push-up. So you can just do what you can and just try your best. However, I still want people to not be discouraged, so I came up with a little bit of an easier routine. But um, for those of you who want to challenge, this one's definitely challenging. So I'm going to start with the easier version of each exercise, and then we'll get into more of a challenge with each one. So for the first one, we're going to do um, a pointer crunch, and that's going to warm up your core muscles. You're going to work your back and your stomach. So you're going to be on your hands and knees. And you want to keep your abs very, very tight. Your torso stays pulled in, so this stays still. And you're going to slowly reach one arm out and the opposite leg like so. Then you come in, and you want to bring the elbow to the knee and then reach out like so. So you're going to do either one side at a time. And for more of a challenge, you can switch sides. So you do one over here and then one over here. So you want to keep everything as still as you can. Now a harder version of this, for those of you who want a little bit more oomph to the exercise, you're going to be doing a plank. So you're up in a plank, this is much tougher, and you're going to try and reach out our opposite arm and leg and then come in. Now if you're really good and really strong, we'll see if I can even do this. You're going to reach out when with balance, tight stomach muscles, pull the knee into the elbow, and then come down like so. So, with those, I suggest you alternate them, but if you're really, really strong, you could just get one side done at a time. And whether you want the easier version or the harder, you want to do 10 to 20 each leg. So you want enough for you to feel like your abs are getting a workout, your lower back, your glutes, and the shoulders are going to be working hard with that one as well. Right after that, if your wrists are feeling good, you can come up from that and shake out your wrists a little bit if your wrists are weaker. You're going to be coming into a pike position, which is your hands are underneath your shoulders and your butt's in the air, and you form like an upside down V. And what you're going to do is keep your ears in between your biceps like this, abs are tight, and then you're going to bend your knees almost till you hit the floor, and then you push up nice and straight. So you're going to come down and bend and push. And what this does is each time you push up is you're working your thigh muscles on top of the shoulders. So the shoulders are doing a lot of work here, the stomach's doing a lot of work, and we're squeezing up those legs. Now if you want a better exercise for those quads, you're going to bring one leg up, and then you're just going to do it one leg, which is much more challenging. You're going to push down low as you can and back up, and then you'll switch. So. If you do it with two legs, you want 10 to 20, depending on the strength of your shoulders. You can even take a break in between. And if you do it with one leg, try and do 10 to 20 each leg as well. The next exercise we have are pull downs. These are for your back muscles, right in through here, and the arms, of course. You're gonna grab a resistance tube. You can either stand up while you do this. You can put your legs in a staggered stance, or I like to come down to the floor and kneel. So you're going to keep your abs very tight and you're going to pull elbows out to the side, squeeze your shoulder blades, open your chest, and then back in like so. Back and squeeze, like so. You want the resistance to be challenging, so exercise is not supposed to be easy. If you do 15 to 20 of those and don't feel it in your arms, it's not strong enough. So make the band tighter by wrapping it around a couple more times or just keep walking backwards. Either way, make sure you have um, a lot of resistance and tension in there. If you want more of a challenge, you can always do a pull-up, so I'm all about pull-ups. Um, if you want to uh, modify a pull-up, you can do a jump along with your pull-up, you can rest after each pull-up, whatever works for you. You can do half pull-ups, half pull-downs, anything where we're working the back muscles here. So the next one we're going to do is a sit and stand. 
So you'll need a chair. I have an ottoman here, same, um, about the same height as a chair. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand a couple inches away from the chair. We want those abs tight and you want the arms up over the ears so we're working on those shoulder muscles. And you're gonna send your hips back, tap the chair, and then come up and squeeze those glutes. So you're barely tapping the chair and you're certainly not sitting down. If you need to sit down, you can do so and work your way up from there and make sure your weight's in your heels. So you want your weight to be way back in those heels and you're pushing through the heels so you feel your glutes. You don't want your knees to bend forward, you want your hips to go back, okay? If you want more of a challenge with this one, you can add a jump. So we can put our hands back behind here if you're jumping. You're gonna tap down and throw up a jump there little bit tougher and if you still want more of a challenge you're going to do this with one leg so you're just going to stand up whew, one leg come down and tap and stand and you'll switch off either way two legs or one leg you want to make sure you evenly do it on the one leg um, I think we need 20 to 30 sit and stands and if you want to do like 10 one legged you can but at least do 20 to 30 if you're going to use two legs the next one are push-ups. Of course, we're going to put push-ups on here. Um, you're going to be doing these on your knees if you want a modification. So you want your body to be in a straight line. You don't want your butt up here, and you don't want it sagging way down here either. That's not safe for your back. So keep your abs nice and tight, and what you're going to do is shoulders, hands are about shoulder width apart. You're going to come way down and push and squeeze up into the chest. If you want more of a challenge, of course, you can do that full push-up all the way down, coming up, and we have um, 10 to 20 of those. Now we have um, a bicycle crunch challenge as well. So you're gonna be on the floor doing a bicycle crunch. Hands are behind the head, legs are up, and you're gonna go from side to side. If you want this to be harder, you just drop your legs lower. And if this is too tough for you, you can just do one leg at a time and put your foot back on the floor. <sighs> now for your cardio portion, you have 25 jumping jacks. So the jumping jacks, obviously everyone knows what they look like. You come out, back in. If they're too tough for you and you can't jump, you can just do one at a time and reach. You're gonna do 25 of those. And then you have 25 mountain climbers. So this is when you're on your hands again. You're going to bring your one leg in and switch back and forth. And for those of you who are a little bit stronger and want a challenge, you can add a jump. So you have 25 of those as well. And the jumping jacks and the um, mountain climbers, you're going to do three sets of those. So you're going to really burn some calories during that. Do the best you can. So there's the easy does it routine and um, I hope you enjoy it and I really hope it challenges you and you try to move on to more difficult exercises. You can do it. All right, we'll see you next time.